The U.S. is seeing more and more cases of the Delta variant of the coronavirus. So will a third booster shot make a difference and slow down those numbers? News 12's Keenan Scott talks to local health officials, officials for their take. With the Delta variant quickly sweeping the globe, Hamilton County health officials are concerned. We've been a little more tolerant uh, of letting things uh, get bad um, before we intervene, and I suspect that that's uh, the way that this will go. Although more of the country is getting vaccinated, Dr. Jay Sizemore says that hot spots across the southern U.S. will be the most vulnerable to the variant. In Massachusetts, where 80% of the population has been vaccinated, um, you're probably going to have less of an issue with the Delta variant. The news comes as Pfizer has announced that they will be pursuing additional booster shots to strengthen their vaccine's effectiveness. Sizemore says it might be too early to tell if it's needed. When and if uh, the uh, a booster looks like it might be needed. I think uh, I think the vaccine manufacturers will be ready to go. When reached for comment on the variant, the Hamilton County Health Department responded in a written statement. It reads the Delta variant is a concern because it is highly contagious and Hamilton County vaccination rates remain low. The most effective step to decreasing the risk of another surge is to vaccinate as many people as possible as transmission is significantly reduced after being vaccinated. Dr. Sizemore agrees that the focus should be on raising Hamilton County's vaccination rate. I think a more pertinent strategy right now uh, rather than focusing on booster shots would be continuing to focus on getting more people vaccinated. I think we're going to get more bang for our buck uh, with that strategy. So far, the CDC and WHO don't recommend additional booster shots for the vaccine, but as the world watches for what could be a dangerous fall, that all could change. In Chattanooga, Keenan Scott, News 12 Now.